Hey guys, it's Huilin, the gamer girl here, and today I actually wanted to play. So, I actually got the iPhone 14 Plus uh, two days ago in the machine store, but unfortunately, I won't be able to use it after the CMY holidays. So, for today's video, we're only going to focus on the iPhone 6s uh, Plus, whether you should use it in 2023 or not. I know you guys are wondering about this question to say, oh, are you allowed to use the iPhone 13 or less than that in 2023? Or are you allowed to like, use like older generations of the phone such as iPhone 6s Plus, iPhone 7, iPhone 8, XR, XR Max, 11, or all the discontinued phones? Well, you're still allowed to as long as they like support the version right here. For the iPhone 6s Plus that I'm currently using uh, until CMY, uh, this is actually the case right here. Okay, let me show you about this one. So, there's not many apps right here, but unfortunately, I'm just going to say this. Okay, so my phone actually does have 32 gigs and it's not really enough. Not to say my phone is actually broken like uh, like this other YouTuber is playing Mario Kart or something because I know that my phone isn't exactly the same as the one he has or my friend has, you know, like with that. Now this, actually, this is actually the iOS 15, which is the final version of the iPhone 6s Plus. So my question is, should you really use the iPhone 6s Plus? in 2023 like this year well basically in my opinion the phone got discontinued like five years ago before the release of iphone xr max and there wasn't like anything we can do about it uh the only thing is that um it still works as fine but when you take out the sim card all of the data will get um transferred to the new phone now there's also another thing about this because the ios um 16 only works on I, iPhone 8 or more. It can't like work on like other phones because one, um, there may be like, uh, not to say like technical issues, but they're actually more of like, I'm not really that sure what you call, call this, but I'm sure what I was going to say is that, yeah, there's some, there isn't wrong, there's nothing wrong with the phone, but just a little reminder that if you would like to change your phone or upgrade it the way it is, then you can. It's seriously up to you. But if it's like the older phone, such as iPhone 1 to 6, then it's not really supporting on the iOS anymore because, you know, it's discontinued. It's no longer in support. You know? Okay, so there are not many apps on this phone ever since I deleted them. And yes, these apps will actually be transferred to the new phone once I get the case. But even though I actually got the iPhone 14 Plus already, it is still in my dad's bedroom. Uh, don't worry, um, it's in a safe place. No one is going to touch it until I get the Octobox case. And eventually, Octobox doesn't really have problems, you know. It, it really doesn't have problems. Case of Fire, on the other hand, doesn't have problems, but the case is not really that shockproof. Now, what I was going to say is that Case of Fire was uh, actually a popular case that was founded in Hong Kong back in 2011, 12 years ago. I know it's very, very popular. They have a lot of characters that you like, such as SpongeBob, Minions, Harry Potter, Sesame Street, etc. Well, what I was just going to say is that the iPhone 6s Plus, um, definitely doesn't have the feature, you know, like, they don't have the feature for the iOS 16. Because you need to update it to the iOS 16, you need to get, like, iPhone um, 8 or more uh, in order to get it, because uh, that's the requirement. For this phone, you can't really update it, you can't, like, do anything with it except uh, stay for this version, because iOS 15 is actually the final installment of the, uh, of the iPhone 6s Plus, you know. Now, this actually has 32 gigs. While the iPhone 6, iPhone 14 Plus has five, 256 gigabytes. So that means I have enough storage to store all of my photos, play games, do some research, homework, study, you know. Now, you may be wondering, 
Am I really going to take this phone to college? Of course not. No, I'm not going to take the iPhone 6s Plus to college. This will be left at home for my dad to play Candy Crush. While I'm going to take the new phone with me, you know. Like all of this will get transferred, my background is going to get transferred. I've been using this background since um, 2017 or 2018 if I'm not mistaken. I used like both of them, you know, like back then. These pictures were taken in 2017 both and I haven't been changing this background ever since. So on the new phone, there will not be some new changes. Well, except for the font, I guess, and the data, you know. So all of my apps will actually get transferred here. So if you would just think that I'm going to play in like a lot of games such as the Fruit Ninja or this game, then yeah, uh, we're not going to go through that one, alright? But anyways, that's all.